Hey everybody, Mr. Dave here. We've got a really great show for you today, but why don't we get started by going to the theater? Hello and welcome to the theater. Today we have an extraordinary guest named Ron Telpner from Toronto, Canada. He's going to sing us a song from days gone by. So sit back, grab some popcorn and enjoy the show. Now this song might be considered a little naughty. My dad taught it to me when I was just a little kid. And the song actually is called the Sheik of Araby and it date ba dates back to 1921. But when my dad taught it to me, all I had to sing was the chorus that said, without no pants on. And so he would sing the words to the song and I would just, every time he stopped, I would sing without no pants on. So you could sing that too, along with me. So. It goes, for example, I'm the Sheik of Araby, and you sing without no pants on. Okay, here we go. Well, I'm the Sheik of Araby, without no pants on, your love belongs to me. Without no pants on, at night when you're asleep, without no pants on, into your tent. I'll creep without no pants on, the stars that shine above without no pants on will guide our way to love without no pants on. Oh, you'll rule the world with me without no pants on. I'm the Sheik of Araby. The sun that shines above without no pants on will guide our way to love without no pants on. Oh, you'll rule the world with me without no pants on. I'm the Sheik of Araby without no pants on. I'm the Sheik of Araby without no pants on. I'm the Sheik of Araby without no pants on. I hope you like that song and uh, that it wasn't too naughty and uh, be my guest to teach it to your parents. Talk to you soon. Glad to be with you. Today. Hey guys, today in the town of Magical Forest, Arnold is running a game of dragon eggs for me and my friends. You ready? Let's go. Oh, I am so excited. I love playing imagination games with my friends. Oh look, here's Harold. He's in the game too. Hey Mr. Dave, are you all set to play our tabletop role-playing game? Tabletop what now? Tabletop role-playing game. That's what Dragon Eggs is. Tabletop because we play sitting around a table. Role-playing is another way to say pretending to be someone else. Oh, like acting. Exactly. Actors are role-players. They are playing or pretending to fill a role. Hey guys, were you just talking about rolls? Indeed we were. We were saying, Oh, I love rolls, especially with butter. No, that's not. Although sometimes I do like to put jelly on them. Eldun, I think you- Oh, and oh, when they're fresh out of the oven and still warm. Eldun! We weren't talking about bread rolls. We were talking about rolls, like with actors. Uh, I don't get it. When an actor is pretending to be someone else, it's called taking on a role. Um, okay. Well, I'm hungry now for some reason. I'm gonna head home for lunch. See ya! Yeah. Shall we head to the diner? Yes, please. Ah, hello boys! You're right on time. Take a seat at your table and we can get started. I am so excited. Me too. Oh, hey Joe, great to see you again. JO37A, or Joe for short, is an alien like Eldun. Sort of. He's actually a repair droid that came from Eldun's ship, 
but now he has a small repair shop in town where he fixes things that break. Hey, Joe, you ready to roll? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> very funny. I get it. Because we rolled the dice to see if we succeed at things in our game. Very funny. Can we get on with it already? Oh, yes, please. I've been looking forward to playing again. Yes, Joe, we certainly can. Let us begin our new adventure. We begin with our adventurers sitting in a small tavern. Having finished their previous endeavor, they eagerly await a new opportunity to arise. Yeah, no kidding. Shh, stay in character. Crump board. It has been a while since we've done anything interesting. Hello, my name is Bort. Hello, Bort. My name is Treacle, the Elven Mage. I am a woodland elf and a practitioner of magic. Me Crump, me Goliath. Oh, and I, Talib Isan, am also a mage, like Treacle. And I'm Bo. I'm a rogue. Do we really need to do this every game? Yes. Uh... Hello, adventurers. Welcome to the Davstown Tavern. Can I get you anything to eat or drink? Actually, friend Bort, do you know of any task that needs doing here in Davston? Actually, yes. The owner of the tavern recently had his loot stolen and is in need of brave souls to find it and return it. Loot? Like treasure? No, loot. It's a stringed instrument that comes in many shapes and sizes. The owner is a famed musician here in Davston, and his music is what brings in customers. But ever since his loot was stolen, the people haven't been coming much, and we fear we may have to close down. So, uh, you want us to find out whoever stole this ukulele? Loot. Right, loot. We're pretending. And bring it back here to save the tavern. If you're available. We can't pay much. But if you succeed, we will happily reward you with free meals. <laughs> this sounds good to Crump. As adventurers of Relf, we are bound by honor to help those in need. Especially for food. <laughs> um, do you have any clues as to who may have taken the loot? Only one. There is a long trail leading from the back door of the tavern and out into the woods. You can see it in the dirt. I followed it to the edge of town, but I didn't dare venture into the woods themselves. I am no adventurer like you folk. Well, it seems that we have our next task. First, good Bort, show us this trail that you speak of. Bo, best if you examine the path. So the party went to see this trail. Bo, please roll a 20-sided die and try to investigate the trail. Add your mental modifier. Yep, that's a 17. As you look down at the dirt road, you do indeed see a trail, though faded from use of the road itself. You don't see footprints, however. The path in the dirt is a strange, slightly wavy line that seems to curve and bend slightly. Following the path, you do see at one point the shape of the body of the flute, as if whatever was carrying it dropped it in the dirt momentarily. Yeah, this is definitely our thief, but uh, we got a problem. What problem? The air trail stops at the edge of the forest. Bo, please roll another d20 with your mental modifier to continue to search. Oh. That's, uh, that's a two. Oh dear, I'm afraid that with the grass and the rocky ground at the edge of the forest, you just simply can't tell where the thief has absconded to. Uh, means I don't know where he went. Oh. Uh, can I see if I notice anything out of the ordinary? To maybe see if I could find a clue? Of course, roll and add your mental modifier as well. Ooh, natural twenty. Ah, excellent. A critical success. The best role you can make. That's very exciting. You unfortunately do not see anything that can lead you to your quarry. However, your keen dragon hearing does pick up a faint sound that seems out of place in the forest around you. Guys, guys, 
I hear something out of place in the forest around me. It's this way. Come on. I don't hear anything. Grump hear nothing, too. Come, compatriots. Let us sally forth and discover what it is that Talon has heard. Uh, compatriots? Guys? Guys, where did you go? Oh, you already... Fellows, fellows, wait a moment. Guys, wait for me! As you head towards the sound, it is slowly becoming more apparent to all of you. You realize that you are hearing a lute. Ukulele. A lute being played, and being played quite poorly. You come upon what seems to be a large snake who is attempting to play the ukulele. Uh, loot <laughs> without much success hold we have found the thief i know thief i'm a musician that's debatable hey i'm still learning but my passion is real but uh, that doesn't excuse the fact that the loot ukulele that loot belongs to the owner of the davston tavern I know, but I love the way it sounds when he plays it. I just wanted to sound like that, too. I understand and encourage following passions, but you must return that loot. What? To its rightful owner. Oh, okay. You're right. I'll bring it back. I'm... I'm sorry I took your loot. I just love the way you play, and I wanted to play it too. I understand, but that doesn't make it okay to take things that aren't yours. To make up for it, you're gonna clear tables and sweep the floor for a week here in the tavern. Okay. And every night after close, I'll give you a ukulele lesson. You... you what? I'll give you a ukulele lesson every night after work. You want to learn how to play? Well, that takes work, too. And I'd rather help you chase your dream than have you thinking you can't do it. Really? I... I don't know what to say. Wait. Say yes. Y ukulele? Yes, of course, yes. But Arnold say it was loot. Yeah, I don't know where you guys got the idea that this was a loot. It's obviously a ukulele. Thank you. All right then, I'll see you later. Start working and learning. Thank you adventurers for saving the day yet again. Why don't y'all stay for tonight's show and I'll give you dinner on the house to say thank you. That sounds great. Indeed. Yeah, yeah, better than nothing. Food! <laughs> and so you all had a wonderful meal and a show that night, once again proving that you are truly heroes. The end. <laughs> wow, great game, Arnold. Yes, I especially liked it when I found the snake at the ukulele. Yeah, the ukulele. Yep. Fantastic story, Arnold. Great teamwork, guys. See you later. Bye. Yeah, bye, guys. Bye, Arnold. Time for us to head back. Wow, what a fun game. I love playing imagination games like Dragon Eggs. Do you like to pretend to be someone else? Well, hope you had fun today. I know I sure did. And now I've got one more song for you. My favorite way to say goodbye is not goodbye to you. Not adios, arrivederci, sayonara, or adieu. My favorite way to say goodbye, the best way that I knew. My favorite way to say goodbye is to say that I love you. See you next time, guys.
Fun Time with Mr. Dave has been brought to you by HilltownFamilies.org, Acklot.com, YoYoSam.com, the Buckland Public Library, the Arms Public Library, and CFCE of the Mohawk Trail and Hollamont Regional School Districts. Hey guys. Hmm. Oh, yes, here we are. I love playing imagination games like Dragon Egg. Okay, it's gonna be my bad. Hey everybody, Mr. I just whacked my hat. Today's guest we have in a hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey guys, today in the town of Magical Forest, Arnold is running a game of Dragon Agatha. Wow, what a great show. No, 